Welcome everybody to School of Engineers. Today we will do a problem on engineering economics about decision trees. Let us begin. Okay, engineers, our problem state that the cost to expand a factory is 1.5 million. If the factory stays as is and the economy stays good, we expect 3 million in revenue, while only 1 million if the economy is bad. If we expand the factory, we expect to receive 6 million if the economy is good and 2 million if the economy is bad. And there is a 40% chance of a good economy and 60% chance of bad economy. Advise your decision. Ignore inflation. Now, in order to solve such problem let us refer back to our reference handbook with our keyword as usual which is decision tree here we go now as you can see here we will use the expected value method so the decision that we are trying to make is either to expand or not to expand the factory so here we have our decision node expand or not so if we expand it will cost us one and a half million and if we did not expand it will cost us nothing now let's go to the chances we have so if there is if we expanded and the economy is good, we will receive six million. So six million if the economy is good and Two million if the economy is bad. So for bad economy, two million. If we did not expand and the economy was good, we are expecting three million. So for good economy we are expecting 3 million and 1 million if the economy is bad now for the probabilities we have 40% chance of a good economy so it's 0 0.4 and we have 0 0.6 chance of bad economy. Now, in order to take, make a decision, we need to evaluate the expected value for each path. And the expected value formula as shown here, it's each percentage multiplied by the outcome of that path. So, let us start with expanding the factory so the expected value for expanding equals 40% multiplied by 6 million plus 60% multiplied by 2 million And we have 
expenses, which is one and a half million for the expand itself. would be 0 0.46 plus 0 0.6 multiplied by 2 minus 1.5 and the expected value is 2.1 now the expected value for keeping the factory as is is similar in the process it should be 0 0.4 multiplied by 3 million plus 0 0.6 multiplied by 1 million and we have to note that there is no extra expenses to keep the, the factory as is and that would be one point eight and since the expected value of expanding the factory is higher than the expected value of keeping the factory as is then we choose to expand the factory so our answer would be to expand the factory so we have option A and option C and the expected value for expanding is larger than the expected value for not expanding so it's A okay engineers thank you for watching if you have any questions please leave in the comments below and see you soon